on, on our to pale uh, Facebook, we have Nancy Ogana Sema Show, It's So Lit, and uh, uh, Big Up uh, DJ Rajis, as usual. And then we have uh, Monica from uh, yeah, Kirinyaga County, all the way represented. Uh, Hmm. Asema, she wants the new jam by Nicki Minaj uh, to be played. Rajiz, which song is that? Mm, I know Megatron. It's Megatron, yeah. Mm. I saw the video, it is explicit and it, we, can, <laughs> we can still do it, right? Uh, clean version. Clean version, yeah. yeah. No, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then we have, um, okay, we'll continue sampling more of your comments and your requests uh, make sure they still come through courtesy of DJ Rajis on the decks my name is Michelle Ashira and you can equally follow me across all my social media platform that is at Michelle Ashira so in studio right now we have an artist uh, he's very much young and uh, he'll be telling us about his musical journey and uh, he has a new job known as Puff 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 he's, he's equally going to speak more of that 12 of 12, 12 Monta. Monta. 12 yeah. Monta. I was about to say 12, like 12 disciples. Yeah. <laughs> 12 Monta. Yes. Welcome to our studios. Thank you very much. We very much uh, appreciated that you, you came through. Yes. So, reach out to camera four. If I've missed out on something uh, in the intro, apart from you being an artist, uh, uh, this is your time to shine and people back at home to know who you are. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. So, I go by the name 12 Monta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm from Eldoret. Home of champions, that mm. is, yeah. Okay, so Eldoret is in Wasingishu country. Wasingishu country. Okay, so you're representing. Yes. Tell us more about your music. Okay, it's yeah. A, it's a more of trap. Yeah, trap yeah, music, it's yeah. trap, so you're generally doing trap music. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell yeah. us more about, uh, uh, so are you focusing, are you cleanly doing trap music or are you looking forward to vibe to other genre? I know young people are actually listening to trap music uh, equally, so there are different genres of hip hop, so. Y yes, yes. What are exactly doing? Like so I do trap? actually I, I just do trap music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do any other thing. It's just trap music. Trap music. Yeah, that's my life. That's your life. Yeah, that's okay. my life. Yeah. Uh, speaking about trap music, we have people who think, or rather, there's a notion that trap music are in a content. What do you think about that? Okay, first, mm -hmm. um, what I can say about content is um, those guys who are saying that uh, trap are in a content. Mm -hmm. um, I think. Maybe for them, they have to find something else, because <laughs> <laughs> because actually, if you can't find content on something, that mm -hmm. means um that thing is not made for you. Oh, so yeah, yeah. You, they look so you just have to find for something else other, that will suit another you. Another gender. Yeah, Montana and Samavio. So, <laughs> um, you talk about trap being life for you. What has been? What was life before music, or what is life with music? Life before music. Mm -hmm. Firstly, what I can say is um I didn't know I can be here. I didn't know I can be a musician. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, when I was young, I was like, you know, when everyone is young, there's that dream when you, the, when you want to, to grow up, you want to be a pilot or something. So for me, I, I had a dream of becoming a pilot first. And then uh, as the journey comes, uh, at some place, I became a DJ mm -hmm. at the first. Uh, okay. Yeah, I started as DJ a DJ. Is, hold up. <laughs> what, was your, uh, what was your street name? My street name, they used to call me DJ Python. DJ Python. Yeah, I was still young by then. I was in mm -hmm. Form 1. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's but I could. I started as a DJ. I used to. I had a laptop. Mm -hmm. I used to use some app. It was called Virtual DJ. So I think I started that way. Mm. Until one day, I started uh, as so I was a DJ. Mm -hmm. I started doing uh, MC. You know. So mm -hmm. I'm DJing, and I have. You're the, still the MC. And I'm still the MC, mm -hmm. and that's how it, my journey has been through until I found myself into hip hop. So I was as, uh, as I was a DJ, I used to do hip hop. I used to mm -hmm. DJ mostly hip hop songs, and that's how I think I myself got into trap. Mm. Yeah. Did you when did you start your... You started back in school? Uh, from two. Uh, just tell us. Be confident. It's a big journey. From two. How, uh, from two from How from many two. years are those? Uh, we're uh, getting it. We're getting it. It's come, uh, from till now. Yeah, we know you know your age. You're trying to get uh, <laughs> 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 That's you are Miyaka. To my little minimum there. Tell me about uh, in your musical videos, yes. uh, and in terms of your songs, and mm. uh, first of all, even before we get into the aspect of videos, how do you get to write your, to write your music? Are you do you are you seated? As, are you a writer in in terms of being a storyteller? While uh, before you actually get to the studio, or are you the kind of person who gets to the studio and just hype 
to the beats of a producer? Okay. Um, first, what I can say is... Um, Do you sit down and uh, think about the story you want to tell before you actually write your music? No, 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 I don't. Mm -hmm. I just... Uh, I actually, first of all, I always write my music uh, using my phone. So anytime, anytime I go, I, I come through any beat and I, feel the, and I feel the vibe, I'm just there typing. So it just, it just flows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't have the time of thinking, oh, what should I write? It's not, a, it's, not, it's not a poem I'm writing or a composition or something. I'm writing something that um, it's coming out for me. For and it's supposed it's to be... It's something I'm expressing myself. And um, I love writing uh -huh. about um, lifestyle, mm -hmm. mostly. Mm. Because for me, I'm into I'm Yeah, because I was so about to ask the, if uh, whatever you, s you speak of in your, in your music, is mm. it your real life or is it... Yeah, that's my real life. That's my so you life. hey wait <laughs> so you live a lavish life the way you st you state on your on your single like I'm um, the G and puff puff, puff. yeah yeah sure so that's your lifestyle yeah that's my lifestyle that's, that's a monta from Monday to to, to Monday yeah that's me how old are you again I'm twenty yeah okay so yeah. tell me about <laughs> the inspiration of uh, uh, I'm the G I'm a G uh, I'm a G at first it started out from um okay you know. I started seeing like uh, I'm the realist. I'm okay. that, yeah, I do. I, I think in Africa, I think I can say uh, I haven't blown up here, mm -hmm. but according to the I always do my music. I see like I'm the only one doing my own shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no one doing shit like the way I do. Uh, okay, so yeah. uh, what do you mean? Uh, you know, it's very, it's a very morning show, and you you actually use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Like uh, what I'm trying to say is um, uh, okay, I do. I'm a G. What inspired me to write I'm a G? It's because uh, at first I thought like, uh, I'm a G, like, I'm a G. You're the real, I'm you're the real, real G. deal. Yeah, I'm a G, man. No one can tell, can tell me anything to do. So I'm a G. So what, what should your fan, your target audience, what should they look forward to in terms of your music? Are you going to speak about just your li the lifestyle that you want or the lifestyle that you're living? That's just it. Um, okay. About my music, mostly I do write about the lifestyle I want mm -hmm. and the lifestyle that I live. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about the new single that uh, we're here to also let guys know that you've released, known as Puff Puff Pass. Uh -huh. And uh, I, Trap has also been involved in all about drugs and everything. I don't know what your perception is, and uh, you can equally dive into that. So tell us more about Puff Puff Pass. Puff Puff Pass, national pass, Nini? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Puff Puff Pass, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I wrote down the song, mm -hmm. my target audience was... Uh, actually overseas oh yes you're talking about overseas overseas because okay in kenya there's some things they don't allow uh, okay so how uh, so your target market is overseas overseas yeah that's wow. my target market actually don't you think like you should let people back we should uh, access people back at home first before yeah yeah that's what i'm doing right currently that's what i'm doing okay so yeah. but pop pop passes basically for the market overseas. for the market yeah because in kenya actually you know mm -hmm. um they don't allow some something like kush and stuff. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's Papa Pass, uh, I did write it because of that, that those things. Yeah, mm -hmm. kush and yeah, that's still my lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the producer behind it because the beats are amazing for the yes, song. Yes, yes. Uh, who's the producer behind the so cre creating of the beats? The done? producer who did create for me, who produced for me, uh, Papa Pass, is mm -hmm. is a producer from China. His name is Benny Hanna Boy. Okay. Yes. So you bought it, you bought your beats uh, online? Yes, yes. Okay. That's what you I do. Access them. Okay. All yeah. of the all of your all of my beats I do get them online. But um, for my first music, I'm a G. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of my nigger from Rongai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did that. Yeah. I, I looked at your Instagram account and there's a time you were mentioning about uh, an irritating experience with the producer when it comes to music. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, I've also had challenges mm -hmm. because. Um, okay, you can walk to some producers and then they start underrating someone because maybe you're an upcoming artist. Okay. Yeah. And then the fact is that I'm doing hip hop. I'm not doing gospel and I'm not doing any these Kenyan music songs. Uh, they're Kenyan hip hop, mm -hmm. you see. What do you mean by Kenyan uh, Kenyan hip hop? Hip -hop. You know, there's this, uh, this, this, this new wave of uh, people like Ethic. So, you, you know, for me, yeah? I don't do like that. So, when you okay. go to a producer, he's expecting you to do something like. And, but me, I'm here to do my hip hop. So, Trap, yeah. maybe the producer is, isn't interested. But um, it doesn't want to tell you. Okay. Yeah. So instead, someone just wants money and disappears. 
All right, do you have any other new projects coming up apart from uh, this one that you, you were speaking of? Puff, puff, yes, I'm actually working on a new music mm -hmm. uh, by the name Bad Thing. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking of Bari? doing a Bari bad thing. thing, bad thing, bad thing, do the bad thing. Oh, do the bad thing, yeah. okay. I think I'll be dropping it before the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm also thinking of working with Calligraph very oh, soon. Oh, all right. Yes. So you've reached out to him and uh, all the plans? I'm still working on that. Still yeah, I'm still working on that. So yeah. uh, apart from uh, any, apart from music, do you, are you in school because you're very young? No. So you major focus on music? Yeah, I focus my, in music. Uh, do you have a support system that actually ensures that Top Monta is focused in uh, doing his uh, thing when it comes to trap music? What do you mean by uh, Like a support system, system because uh, when in music you can't just be musical and you have the marketing. The marketers, the Actually, business Actually, I do market myself mm -hmm. on YouTube. They, they, they are those platforms which you pay them. So that's what I use. I don't. Uh, actually, right now I have only one manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the name Victor. Yeah, uh, that's the support Kiasia. system now. So that's the only person who has supported me, mm -hmm. and maybe my mama. And your mother. Yeah, my mother actually. Okay. And what, yeah. uh, what does she think about the videos in your music, especially? She pop, believes pop, in my dreams. Pass. She believes in my dreams. That's the strongest thing I think, and that's the happiest thing I think, actually. When a musician from me, I can get. Mm. And she yeah. equally invests in your music? She actually invests in my music. Okay, there you have it, Tom <laughs> Monta. And uh, before we actually uh, play his music, I'll give him this particular time to introduce the song. Uh, remember, you can find us at Y254 channel across our social media platform. On Instagram, that is Y254 underscore channel. You can reach out to me at Michelle Ashira. So make sure you don't uh, touch that dial because Tom Monta will be giving you giving you his social media handles and also introducing his jam and uh, Barimo will be coming up with one heavy FMC. So uh, with no further ado, use camera four, introduce the jam. You can give us a social media handle so people can actually reach out to you uh, you introducing the song. Okay, so uh, Instagram, you can find me 12 Monta. Follow me there. And then on Twitter, 12 Young Monta. YouTube, 12 Monta, subscribe to my channel. And Facebook the same, 12 Monta, yeah. Okay, introduce your jam. Yeah, okay. Introduce your song so we can uh, DJ can... Pop, pop, pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah.